How's it going, boys? We got some uh, Dread Balloon Cave boosts only. Um, I think I want to go something fun. So I'm thinking something with the sniper and something else. Um, heli, maybe? Yeah, let's try it. Why not? So, because we've got this guy Knockout Posse, he doesn't look too good. So I'm fine with trying some new strats on this map. Um, because, uh, I mean, he doesn't look incredible. So I'm not too worried about losing. And even if we do lose, big deal. Like, I don't, I don't care about my record. I don't care about my uh, medallions. So, um, yeah. So he's going to be going with a dartling here. Uh, that's annoying because he's going to be anti-stalling a bit. So uh, so that's going to be a bit difficult for us to deal with uh, because we have to get up this really expensive heli upgrade. So uh, we have to be worried about that. Um, we're going to get it up here in a second. There it is. Put that down there. Catch these leaks. Come on, come on. All right, we leaked one. Uh, unnecessary life there because I couldn't get the heli placed in time but it's fine so I can't tell if he's already gone for his powerful darts uh, we'll see here in a second yeah he did alright so we're not going to rush him um, I mean we could force a bit more defense if we layered a ton of reds and blues but this map is so long that it's just it's just not worth it you know um, so he's going to get up his, uh, plantation around the same time as we are, unless he doesn't. Weird. I guess 800 plus 600, 850 plus 600 is a bit more expensive than 13, so I guess that makes sense. Um, the thing is, he's not going to have to get up defense for this round. I will have to get up my quad darts if he sends anything. Yeah, like blacks. I'm not going to be able to deal with this with just a 0, zero heli, so I'm going to need to get up my quad darts. Uh, there it is. So that's annoying, but we had to do it. So I'm going to actually move my heli to the back just so that we can anti-stall. We're actually going to need a rotors because we're going to need a rotors for next round. I want this round to last as long as possible so that we can get as much money as possible. I'm not sure if we'll be able to afford our boomer. Subscribe. All right. Well, he's going dartling boomer, which means that he's dead round 20. I don't care what he does. I don't care how much money he has. Unless he's got like a round 12 BIA, he's dead round uh, 20. So it looks like he's going to send us a rush here. A uh, tiny rush. All right, never mind. He's following it up with more. Um... We'll be able to afford our rotors here. There it is. And for round 13, what I want to do is I want to get up a 2-3 sniper because I want to actually use the sniper in this game. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I think we can afford to go for one more farm and then uh, start building our sniper up. Because uh, it, it'll defend everything even without boost. Like it'll defend an all-out regen rainbow rush without boost, but the the downshot is that it's quite expensive. Let's see if we can get it placed. I want to place it in the top left here so that you can't see it. Can't seem to place it. There it is. Come on, give me money, give me money, give me money. There it is. So if he all outs us, we sell, get up a 2 3 sniper, and that defends. I'm going to send him a camel lead so it's forced. So it forces the depleted Boontonium on his side. Um, so he's farming quite well, actually. Uh, our farms are not great because we had to get up that sniper, um, but we'll manage. I'm going to get this up here. And I'm not going to go for a BIA this game because uh, late game is not going to matter at all because we, we win round 20, essentially. So... Yeah, so I'm not going to get up anything uh, that would get my ego up, because we, we're just not going to need ego. Uh, as long as we have a decent amount of farms, as long as we can afford an Apache, by the time round 20 comes around, we'll be golden. So, yeah. 
So if he layers some things within within this round, that could do a bit of damage, but it doesn't look like he's going to, so we're fine. I'm just gonna keep getting up farms. Um, very passive game by us and by him. We've got a total of 253 ego. <laughs> so we haven't really sent anything this game. Um, I think the only thing we sent is that one set of camo leads. By the way, the sniper is so good that it'll actually deal with Moabs just by itself. So, uh, but I do need the 0 0.50 upgrade for that. But this uh, sniper in conjunction with this heli will deal with Moabs by itself. So if he sends one, we're going to be fine. If he follows it with like leads though, that might be a bit more difficult, but um, we should still be fine uh, if we get up another heli. So it doesn't look like he's going to rush. Um, I'm not going to go for my facility. There's no point. Uh, this game is ending next round. So I'm going to get that up. The camo detection of my heli. Just in case he tries to sneak some camos by. Uh, like if he sends like a BFB with camos layered over the top. Then my sniper won't be targeting the camos. It'll be targeting the BFB. So that's why I got the camo detection on that. So this game is going to end next round. Because he can't defend against BFBs. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to toss him a face palm because if you're playing Dartling Boomer, you want to play super aggressive and you want to end the game by round 15 at the latest because the instant the game goes past round 20, you lose. You just lose. I mean, he's going to have to triple turbocharge that and boost. And even then, I don't think he defends. So he's sending us a BFB. I'm just going to straight up get this Apache up. So he's going to have to do at least a triple turbocharge and boost. And if he does, we're, we're just going to send him another one, you know, because we can. Um, and even I don't think he's going to defend the first BFB. So we'll see how this goes. Does he defend? Oh, he defended. All right. Well, suck on this one, buddy. We're going to boost that as well. So he's trying to reform. It's just not it's not going to work. It's not a smart strategy to use, uh, especially on a map that this, that's this long. So I'm not sure why he decided to go with the Dartling Boomer strategy, but in my opinion, that's just not the move. So uh, just a pro tip, if you're going to go Dartling Boomer, make sure it's on short maps because on long maps, it just doesn't work. Uh, he's got the boost off. Is he dead? Oh, he survives again. It's okay, we're just gonna send him another one. We're just gonna keep doing this. He's gonna all out us here, I think. No, he's not. He just sold all of his farms. But there's no way he defends this third one. Um, and if he does, there's no way he defends a fourth because he's gonna be out of boost by then. I... Did he defend? I guess he did. The dartling glitch just made it look like he didn't. We're just going to keep sending BFBs. Like, he's going to die eventually. And it's not like he can counter rush with anything because we've got an Apache. <laughs> I'm actually just going to end this now and I'm going to send two more BFBs, boost them, fast cooldown behind that. So he's sending us his UMG. Now, we don't want to pop this. Alright? Because if we pop this, then it'll the, the BFBs will be moving faster than the ZOMG and we might die first. Um, he did the only thing he could, which is like rush with fast cooldown Moabs, but that's not going to do anything because the Apache's got enough popping power. And he goes down. Yeah, not the smartest move. Going Dartling Boomer on Dread Balloon by our boy Knockout Posse, and now he's lost all of his meds. But uh, yeah, it's the way of the road. And we just hit 20 million medallions. That's pretty cool. So I'll see you guys in the next game. All right, we got our next opponent, Zook the Ook, YT. Um, he looks pretty decent. He's got a lot of medallions, so shouldn't underestimate this guy. I want to go something interesting on this map as well, or in this game as well. I'm not sure what I want to do. I want to involve the Ice Tower somehow. Maybe Wizard Farm Ice. I haven't used that strategy in a while. Actually, you know what? We're going to use the Dartling. I want to see how this goes, because I haven't used this strategy in a very long time, so I want to see if it if it's still viable. So the move uh, for this strategy would probably be, oh, he's got the Cobra, brilliant. 
The move for this strategy is probably get an early BIA, so play relatively passive, um, because we're going to need a ton of money to defend later on. Um, but he's got the Cobra, which means that we're going to need like Hydra Rocket Pods early on, which is not ideal, but it's it's the way of the road, you know? So we're going to put this down. And hopefully we force some mortar on his side, um, so that he has to spend money on defense rather than attacking me. We're gonna be a little bit short of our uh, powerful darts here. He's got the dartling as well. What? I don't think I've ever seen a cobra strategy go with the dartling. Interesting. So we're gonna layer a few blues here. Um, I, I believe round five is around the stop round you the last round you can uh keep egoing if you want to get a decently early bia um not 100 percent sure about that but uh i think it is so we're gonna stop egoing around here and he's got his we just forces powerful darts upgrade so that's all i wanted to do with that eco so i'm happy with that result we're actually going to place our last spike because it's a long way from over there to down here uh, if we need to use it, so I just want to get that just want to burn it right now We're gonna get up our plantation And if you boost greens over the top that would be a smart rush, but we got our ice we can deal with it um, And depending on actually how many greens he sends we might not actually have to get up an ice. Nope. Never mind. We have to get up an ice All right, that's annoying but, you know, we had to do what we had to do. Um, I want him to stop egoing so I can sell my ice and just go for more defense, or more farms, but, you know, can't. He's not going to stop egoing because that would just be dumb. Uh, both because he would have less money and because he would let me get more money. So, his egoing is smart. Now, the upshot of this is that we're not going to have to get up anything other than another 0-0 zero, zero ice for yellows. So that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah, I'm not too unhappy where we are right now. Uh, I would prefer to have two plantations by the beginning of round eight rather than, or by the end of round seven rather than the beginning of round eight. But it's not the worst situation. We're gonna get up another um, farm here. He's probably gonna send some, yeah. So we're gonna have to get this ice shred properly. And that should defend everything. All right, never mind. I thought he was going to send yellows over the top. Guess not. So we're going to send him a lead, force the depleted Bluntonium, or, you know, whatever he actually ends up having as a third tower. If he sends me whites, um, I'm going to have to get up another Dartling. So I'm just going to start doing that now. And another powerful darts. But beyond that, I don't think I'm going to need anything because the Dartlings will shred the white layer and the Ice Tower will pretty much deal with the rest. So he's already got his Plutonium Dart, so there's no point in sending him a Candle Lead. Also, his Livery, not Livery, his Balloon Skin is annoying because I can't tell if the balloons that he's sending are camos or not. Um, but uh, so that, that could trip us up later on. Our ice tower is putting in work, 816 pops. Um, we're gonna get a BIA. I think we're gonna wait, wait till round 15 for the BIA. We're just gonna boost that. I'm fine boosting that um, because he boosted, so I'm fine boosting to defend. Um, yeah, we're gonna get a round 15 BIA because I want our boost back before round 16. Um, and so that if he decides to start boon adjusting, we have our boost. Uh, hmm. If he sends regular leads, we just get up an ice shards and that defends literally everything. So I'm gonna I get this up and I'm gonna get this up and we're gonna boost actually because uh, that was a gigantic rush that he sent. There were rainbows in there and everything. So if he were smart, he would start boon adjusting now or send like an offensive push round 17 Moab. So this shouldn't do anything unless those are camos. Camos because we've got, see all outing? It looks like he's all outing. 
Wow. All right. Well, we got the Hydro Rocket Pods to defend against that. He drained himself a lot there. But we, we still have our BIA, and we got a bunch of eco from it as well, and we've got an Ice Shards up, so I'm not too unhappy with that, actually. He might send us an early BFB, which would be annoying, but we can deal with it. We still don't have any Camo Lead detection, by the way. So for this Moab, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get up another one, and we're going to boost. Because I want that to hit the... I want the Ice Shards to do a little bit of work before the... Uh, before the... Moab passes it. So now we're out of boosts, which is bad, but uh, it could be worse. We've got 3k cooked up, so all I need to do really is defend against this round and we'll be golden because I can then collect from my BIA and get up uh, what's it called? Hydro Rockets, and that should defend most of this balloon adjustment for now. Um, so yeah, it looks spooky, but we're fine. So he sent us an early BFB. So what we're going to do is we're going to ice stall that. He's all outing. Because he just sold all of his Cobras. Yeah, he's 100% all outing. He's got the ace. So we're going to... I'm good with selling this. Um, I'm going to ice stall that. I wonder if we actually... I'm going to defend this because I feel confident in my defending skills. Um, I'm going to get up an Ice Shards and an Arctic Wind here. I'm going to get up a couple more of these 2-1 Dartlings. And we'll see how this goes. I'm actually going to get a couple of Depleted Bluntoniums as well because the Arctic Wind will block my Dartling shots if we don't. Oh, I also need an Ice Shards, actually. And we've got a little bit of Eco to help us with the rest of this defend um, because we're not getting any farm money, obviously. So if we need a micro something, then we, we've got a bit of ego to work with. But I'm pretty confident that we can defend against this. So he's sending camo rainbows. I think those are camos anyway. Uh, if they're not, it's dumb because the ice shards can infinitely defend everything. Yeah, so we defended that pretty easily, actually. I'm surprised at how easily that was to defend. Um, but I credit most of that to the BS... Or not the BSB, the... Uh, BIA that we got up and the um, Eco that we got up. So yeah. So that was a good game. The Cobra is a formidable tower to play against, but the Dartling Ice laughs in its face. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, remember to drop a like below and subscribe. I'm sorry about the shorter video today, but I've got a lot of work to do for school. Um, and make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.